All right, class, here comes our lesson today. It's on short division, as well as we want to add some rules to our divisibility rule. You'll need your book. We're on page 263. We're going to start at the bottom with the definition of short division. We have learned a division algorithm in which we follow the four steps. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, do it again. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, do it again. This algorithm is sometimes called long division. In this lesson, we will practice a shorthand form of this algorithm. The shorthand form is sometimes called short division. When we do short division, we follow the four steps of long division, but we do not write every number. Instead, we keep track of some of the numbers in our heads. We will show this by doing the same division problem both ways. Let's go in our first box. We got 56 divided by 4. How many times is 4 going to 5? 1 times. Second step, multiply. 1 times 4 is 4. Subtract, you get 1. Bring down the 6. 16. How many times is 4 going to 16? 4 times. Multiply 4 times 4 is 16. Subtract, you get 0. You're done. Now how about short division? Here's the difference. You can take 56 divided by 4, and you go 4 goes into 5. How many times? 1 time. And you know that 1 times 4 is 4, but I think you can subtract this in your brain. 5 minus 4 is 1, and you take the 1 and put it right in front of the 6 there. Now you say, how many times is 4 going to 16? 4 times. Boom. You're done. Because 4 times 4 is 16. You subtract in your head. So one of those things you do in the head a couple steps, and one of those things you have to show all your work. We begin both division problems, 4 times 5, we write to 1, oh, they're just explained on that one. Let's try example number 1. It works out really good if they come out pretty evenly. A total of 840 people attended the five performances of a school play. Find the average number of people who attended each performance by dividing 840 divided by 5. And try to use short division. How many times does 5 go into 8? One time. One times five is five. Now you have to subtract in your brain eight minus five. Now some kids last year put it here so they could see it. Eight minus five is three. Now write the three right in front of four because you're 34. How many times is five going to 34? Six times. Very good. Six times five is 30. 34 minus 30 is four. And put the four right in front of the zero. How many times is five going to 40? Eight. And now we're finished. All we need is a label. And it was how many people? So we got 168 people. Now, if you don't like short division and that looks like a mess to you, that's no problem. You can always do long division. Go ahead and do it the way that you're used to. Feel free to just write it all out. Keep everything lined up. And both ways you come up with the same answer. Okay? Short division is just a little bit quicker if you're super quick about it. All right, now we want to talk about some divisibility rules. We already have some. Let's review them. The divisibility rule of 2 is any number that, that is even, ends with an even number, is capable of div being divided by 2. So I could say 1,562,768, and you know that would be divisible by 2 because it ends with a 8, which is even. We also studied the divisibility rule of 5. 5 is if it ends with a 5 or a 0. So 5 or 10 or 15 or 20, those are all divisible by 5. The third one we learned was a divisibility rule of 10. 10 has to end with a 0 to be divisible by 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Now, today, we want to move on. And we want to study the divisibility, divisibility rules of 3, 6, and 9. And here's the rule. If it's divisible by 3, then the sum of its divi di digits need to be divisible by 3. I'm going to write that down. Sum of its digits. And I'm going to show you what that means. Is divisible by 3. Sum of its digits. So let's take this number here, 840. Is that divisible by 3? Well, we're going to take the sum of its digits, 8 plus 4 plus 0. 
Okay. Now, you don't have to write it over here, but I like to do that so that I can see it. So these are its digits. Now, what's the sum? 8 plus 4 is 12. Plus 0 is 12. Is 12 divisible by 3? Yes. So we know this number is divisible by 3. Really? It doesn't look like it should be divisible by 3. Well, let's see if we're right. 3 goes into 8 2 times. 2 times 3 is 6. I'm going to do short division. 8 minus 6 is 2, 24. 3 goes into 24. 8 times is 24 is 0. 3 goes into 0. 0 times. It was divisible by 3. So that's pretty cool. So you split the numbers apart. Well, what about this one? 360. Is that divisible by 3? Well, let's add them up. 3 plus 6 is 9. Is 9 divisible by 3? Yes. Then 360 is divisible by 3. Well, let's move on to 6. 6 has got a kind of got a cool rule. To be divisible by 6, it needs to be divisible by 2 and 3. In other words, to be divisible by 6, you have to follow the 3 rule, and you've got to follow the 2 rule. Now, would this one be divisible by 6? Well, 3 plus, nine, uh, 3 plus 6 is 9, and that's divisible by 3. And it ends with a 0, so it's even. So this would be divisible by 3 and by 2. Therefore, it would also be divisible by 6. Well, let's try it to see if our little rule is right. 6 goes into 36. 6 times. 6 goes into 0. zero. Sure enough, it was divisible by 6. And then the last one I look at today is the divisibility rule of 9. Now, guys, I hope you're writing this down because you're going to need this. Don't worry, it's in your math resource folder, and it is also on the board at school, except for we're not at school. All right, the divisible rule of 9 is if the sum of digit, digits is divisible by 9. In other words, the same thing as 3, but by 9. Sum of its digits is divisible by, not 3, but by 9. So let's try this one. 3 plus 6 is 9 plus 0 is 9. Is 9 divisible by 9? Yes, therefore 360 is divisible by 9. Sure enough. 9 goes into 36 four times. 9 goes into 0. Zero times. Okay. Well, here's the example for that one. In our fifth box, it says, which of these numbers is divisible by 3, 6, and 9? Well, let's break this one apart. 4. Sorry. 4 plus 5 is 9 plus 6 is 15. Is 15 divisible by 3? Yes. Is 15 divisible by 9? No. So this one's out. Now, how about this one here? 5 plus 6 is 13 plus 7 is 20. Is 20 divisible by 3? No. That one's out. 5 plus 7 is 12. Plus 6 more is 18. Is 18 divisible by 3? Yes. Is 18 divisible by 9? Yes. And is it divisible by 6? Well, to be divisible by 6, it's got to be divisible by 3, and it's got to be even. Is that an even number? Yes. Ding, ding, ding. C is our answer. Now, we could actually work all these out, but let's just use our divisibility rules. It's way easier. All right, let's practice two short divisions. Split your six box in half. Let's take A and B. The first one is 435 divided by 3. Tenth short division the best you can. If you have to write little numbers, write them. How many times does 3 go into 4? One time. 1 times 3 is 3. Subtract 4 minus 3 is 1. So your new number is 13. How many times does 3 go into 13? Four times. 4 times 3 is 12. 13 minus 12 is 1. My new number is 15. 15 divisible by 3 is 5. Great job. Short division. And B. 534 divided by 6. How many times does 6 go into 54? 8 times. 8 times 6. Now this one right here I don't think I can do a short division. So I'm going to actually write it. 8 times 6 is 48. When I subtract, I get 5. Bring down the 4, 54. 6 goes in 54 nine times. And I'm done. So even for me, I got to a point where I thought, eh, I'm not going to try to subtract 53 from 48 in my head. I'm going to write it down and then do long division if I have to. Now, 
you can do long division for all the problems if you'd like. And if you want to try short division, go ahead. But not at the expense of getting them wrong. All right, I'm going to give you help with a few of the problems. Check me out on our next video.